Hello, everyone, and welcome to Speak Up Entrepreneurs. I'm Catherine Yarbrough, and I am delighted to be here with Mia Zachary, Peggy Lee Hansen, and Shelly O'Connell. So if you're here watching this, the replay, or you're here with us live, please say hello and let us know that you're here. The purpose of Speak Up Entrepreneurs is to give entrepreneurs an opportunity to share a message about their business and then get feedback. Because I'm guessing y'all pretty much everybody agrees with me about this, but let me make sure y'all are on board with this. As entrepreneurs, we need to tell people about what we do. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as entrepreneurs, we often do not get feedback about what we say and how we say it. Is that true for you too? So I, I have found over the years that sometimes I have no idea if something that I'm saying is how it's landing. So I thought this would be a great way for me to shine as a vibrant speaker coach. As some of y'all know, my business took a bit of a left turn at the beginning of this year. And I am now calling myself a vibrant speaker coach and manifesting clients mentor and give the wonderful, mostly women entrepreneurs around me an opportunity to shine too, to share what you do. So I love this and I hope that you'll enjoy it as well. So here's what's gonna happen. Each person is gonna get three minutes when they have 30 seconds. I hold this up to let them know they only have 30 seconds left. And then I hold my phone up to let them know to wrap up. After each person speaks, I'm gonna give that person feedback from my perspective, a lot of good stuff and a couple of things for improvement. And then we'll go to the next person. And at the end, we'll get a chance to chat. So here we go. Are you ready, Mia? Absolutely, thank you. So um, for clarity, I'm just going to be rambling here. I have been working on this all week in anticipation of today's show. But the situation is I've been in business for five years as an energy healing practitioner and Reiki master teacher, but I was noticing what I was doing in my business and realized I need a new business model. I need to articulate my business in a different way. So this is not polished. It's not practiced. It's just what I've been able to come up with. So I am an intuitive advisor who works with clarity seekers. Um, most of my clients are creatives or service providers. So I have artists, writers, actors, singers, but I also have fellow coaches, nurses, um, mental health you know, uh, workers. And so my practice, what I noticed on the Reiki side is that my practice had become really an integration of energy management and life coaching. So what I'm desiring now, I have been a Reiki practitioner who ends up coaching all of her clients. What I'm desiring now is to be a life coach who also has the skills to help with energy balancing and healing. So um, what I believe I do <laughs> is guide people toward a higher perspective by helping them identify what's getting in their way, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual or energetic. I offer insight beyond the obvious because I use my psychic intuition as well as my coaching skills and I hold space for them to redirect or change their thought energy results. Because what you think about, you bring about, and what you focus on is what you receive. So like I've been trying to kind of bring all of this under one umbrella to go, what is it that I do? How do I serve? And so what I've really landed on is I help people handle the shift not their S-H-I-T, but their S-H-I-F-T, be it emotional, mental, or spiritual. Um, yeah, like my ideal client is looking to get out of their own way. They're wanting to be in creative flow, and they're wanting to rediscover their potential. So that's my very messy 
pitch. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, six seconds left. I think you just did an amazing job. Thank you. Let's let's clap for her, y'all. Let's give her some love. Yes, yes, yes. And I am excited to share with you my thoughts and my feedback. Knowing you for several years now, it feels like I love, I love a, a few things. One, I really like hearing that you've gone through a clarity transformation yourself. As an on-purpose solopreneur, and you just heard me say my business took a left turn. I think that us on purpose solopreneurs, we're following the breadcrumbs. We're tuning in and listening to what is that thing that I'm here to do now. And that's what I'm hearing your, you do with this sharing of this shift. But what I also want to let you know, Mia, is that I have heard you do three minute and five minute things for the last couple of years, multiple times. And this is the first time I really started to get that you do one-on-one. -on -one. I'm thinking it's one-on-one -on -one sessions and you help people. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, I, 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 you haven't spoken like this ever in my presence with this kind of clarity about I provide a service and I want, I, 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 there are people out there who need me. So I think you are really right on with the direction that you're going from where I sit at least. It feels super good. In terms of your presentation and what you said today, I think you could have, and I understand why you did it. I think you could have not said, I'm gonna ramble. Okay. <laughs> I think sometimes we want to apologize for our not readiness enough yeah. instead of stepping into our authority of who we are and what we know today. So just for your sake, for everybody's sake, maybe we don't have to do that in the beginning because you didn't sound like you were rambling to me. Okay. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Another suggestion that I have for you in particular is your cam my camera is up a little bit. It looks like you're not looking at your camera. It looks like you're looking maybe down. Maybe you're looking at us. And uh, I, okay. I want, when you do this kind of thing, I want you to look at the camera. So just, no, I'm going to look at the camera now. So look at me for a second here. Okay. okay. I'm looking at the camera now. How does that feel? Now I'm looking at you and I'm looking at the other people here. How does that feel? Oh, I see. Okay. So yeah. if I'm looking more up here, is that better? Yeah, and even okay. more at even more at the camera. Can't when we look at the camera, it feels like we're making eye to eye contact, and okay. that's what we want to do. Just like if we were in person, we want to make eye to eye contact with the individuals in the room, or one at a time. We can't make eye to eye contact with everybody. But this is how I we get do that. I get yeah. that, and I appreciate that because, from my perspective, I am looking at your eyes because your eyes are down here on my screen. <laughs> so thank you for that. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. So excellent job. I look forward to hearing how all of this unfolds. And um, and it's time for us to hear from Peggy Lee. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, so Peggy Lee, why don't you unmute yourself, my friend? And she is going to find that unmute yeah. button because she's I very am. intelligent. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I have wait. my windows shrunk a little bit, so it was hiding. <laughs> I know that. I really found it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I just want to say for anybody who's watching this, we welcome your love, your comments, your thoughts. After the show is over, Mia and Peggy Lee and Shelly are going to put their information in the, in the chat. I mean, in the comments for our Facebook Live so that you can stay connected with them. Because, boy, don't you want to know more from Mia? Okay, here we go. Peggy Lee. All right. Hi there, I am Peggy Lee Hansen, your divinely sent book whisperer. I write and publish books. I also guide the process of writing these books to building entre to budding entrepreneurs, established business owners, and the everyday mom, dad, son, daughter, grandparent, so that they can share their words of wisdom expertise, strategies, and memories that which help them scale the business of life and so much more. I do this through write shops, 
through uh, writing templates and formulas. And through my company, Courageous Women Publications, we make your dream book come true and your tell all easy to tell all. So I work with, as I mentioned, just about everyone. And, but it's mainly women that I work with, especially those who are experiencing change in their life. They are perhaps uh, becoming an empty nester where the kids are going out on their own to college, their own apartment, or that in some instances, they are suffering job loss or loss of a spouse or a parent or they're a caregiver. Each one of these types of people, wherever they are in their life, has a message to share. Not only a message, more than a message, it is an area that they have experienced where they have gained some sort of expertise to share with others who may be going through the exact same thing or something similar to what they have but they have the ways and the means now to know and to help other people not to experience fully the things that they have gone through. So they want to help others so that they don't have to, you know, go through that bad stuff. And it has been an amazing experience helping the people and, and I have published men as well. So it is awesome. So again, uh, for anyone that wishes to, or is getting that little nudge, you know, in their head, or you if you've been told, man, you should write a book about your experience. I bet you people would love to hear your story. And that is it. Someone is waiting to hear what you have to say. Again, I am Peggy Lee Hansen of Courageous Woman Publications. Thank you so much. Oh, boy. Talk about on the nose with your three <laughs> minutes there, Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> okay. I love so much of what you had to say and your beautiful words about writing and your business and you know, you, you said you're divinely, I think this next word was sent, S-E-N-T, mm -hmm. publisher. So I'm not sure why I didn't hear that as clearly as I would have liked to, but I loved the, I was like, oh, you're divinely sent publisher. How cool is that? What a great way to describe what you do. And I got, I like that you said the different things, right? Shops, templates, forms. I got that you help people get their book out. So I'm right. I'm getting all that. And it, that was interesting that there were these different things that you offer for support. Uh, for some reason that, you know, had me go, oh, that's interesting. Uh, we make your dream book come true. Great phrase, uh, I think. I think it's really wonderful. When you got to the women, you talked about the women that you helped. Your hands went to your heart. It was a beautiful gesture. Uh, absolutely lovely. I don't know if you knew that we're intentional about that. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. I had no idea where my hands were, but okay. Yeah. 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 So I would be, I would be aware of it because it brought it. I mean, it's an interesting question. Do we want to be aware of our gestures or let them be unconscious because you were unconsciously sharing your, I forgot to set my timer for me. I'll just keep rambling on. Um, <laughs> it's my show. I can oh, do what please. I want. I make the rules. Okay. But anyway, it, it, you know, it brought, it made me get that you feel caring towards your people and you feel love. That, that, that was the feeling of it. So I think it's actually a good idea. <clears throat> I recommend this. I, if you were to work with me in my speak with your body program, I'm not saying you, you need it. I'm saying for anybody who works with me, what happens is I invite people to get present in their body and, and move and, and from the movement, answer questions like, what do you do? And let the words come out. And when that happens, the gestures come with them. So the gestures are completely congruent and authentic. And 
Once I've done something like that process of diving in to get to my core message from my body, the gestures that come with, in fact, this gesture came through that experience, get to the core and bring it out. And unfortunately, because of the, you know, the visual, I'm not showing the full thing, but you get the idea. So I think it's useful. I think it's important to know, to have a sense of what we want to say and how we're going to say it. Okay. Couple uh, another thing that came up for me when you were talking about the women, I think the term you used when you first said you you said they're I thought you said they're going through a change in life, and it had me wonder. Well, why would you work with people going through a change in life? And towards the end, you were saying that they had gone through it, and so they had this expertise. So I would say when you introduce it and you talk about it, if just be clear that you're saying they've recently gone through a change in life maybe, and then give your examples. Because someone who's in the midst of it, they might not be ready to write the book, mm -hmm. I'm guessing. And so mm -hmm. that's why I wrote, why? Why would those people be it? That's what came up for me. The last suggestion that I have was your glasses, um, were, there was this thing where when they were kind of like this, I couldn't see your eyes. So there was a place where I couldn't see your eyes and I want to see eyes. And so I, I wanted you to either do this, which looks, you know, like scholarly, which I don't mind. I personally don't mind that at all. You may not be able to see a thing like that. Or I wanted you to push them up so that they weren't partially covering your eyes. But then there was a glare. So it's so tricky. I would work on it to, to you know, and maybe you could do some recordings of yourself on Zoom so you see the difference. Because if this is blurry, you may not even be able to see or that you may not even know what it looks like to the rest of us. So you can be sure you're like right now, that works for me. Okay, good. This, all right, see, I can talk so much, but anyhow, those are all little tiny things and overall fantastic job, Peggy Lee. And you know, you know what you wanna say. And I feel like anybody in the room who, wants to write that book would be want to reach reach out to you okay so boy I went I do go on and on don't I all right Shelly are you are you ready yes ma'am I'm ready thank you okay let's hear it hi I am Shelly O'Connell I'm a flirting coach for women and the author of finding your flirt it's a book of exercises and tips for women to help you get your flirt on um I love doing this job because it helps restore women to their inner radiance. It helps them learn about the gifts of play, which flirting is. And I help them to reframe it as the gift of play, not something that we do to gratify somebody else, but we do it for the fun of it because it lights us up and is joyful. Um, I also am working with women about refreshing your relationship around flirting. I've had women tell me that they've been married or they're in a partnership and they do not flirt with their partner. And I was like, hmm, this, this, this mystery. <laughs> because flirting, when you're playful, you're in the moment, it opens you up and it has you engage with people and connect with them. And certainly I would think most days we wanna do that with our partner. And the days that we don't like them, we're like, mm, I don't think I'm, I don't even know if I want to talk to them today. If we shift our perspective and we bring in playful flirting, um, it shifts the whole dynamic most oftentimes, like, bam. And then you're having fun again, you know, and you're connected and you're engaged. So I want to let you know about a uh, class that I'm hosting. It's called Flirt, Refresh Your Relationship. It's happening. This coming Monday, May 2nd. No, I'm sorry, that's two Mondays, right? Where are we here? No, no, I'm right. Get my days confused. This coming Monday, May 2nd at two o'clock Pacific time. It'll be on for an hour. And I have a link that I'll share in the comments once we're all done with this, if you're interested. I highly recommend it. It's a free class, it's fun. You know, you get some insights on how flirting is different. I know we've all been conditioned to think that it was something else, but that's just basically toxic masculinity, i.e. patriarchy, limiting women by made up rules. So 
let yourself come back to the fun. Let yourself have refreshment in your relationship, fun, engagement, all of those kinds of things. That's what I got. Okay, excellent. <laughs> All right. Oh, Shelly, will you? Oh, yeah, let's give it up. I don't even know if we did this for Peggy Lee, but anyway, we're giving it up for Shelly. Yes, yes, yes. So, okay. Shelly, you know I love and adore you, and I love that you're a flirting coach for women, and I think it's so much fun that you bring fun back to the whole idea of flirting. Every time I hear you talk about it, I'm like, oh, yeah, I want that fun. I want that fun. It doesn't have to be all about the possibility of being in a relationship where I'm going to have sex. It can just be about fun. So thank you for that ongoing reminder. And you said fun, I think a zillion times. And I think you should just keep saying it because it helps us get where you're coming from. And I loved that you did a call to action and you shared that you've got a class coming up and you shared that it's free and you invited us to do it. I think that's so important. Even in a little three minute thing, have a call to action. Unless we're in some place where the culture for sure is not doing that. In fact, I would just err on the side of call to action. Even if it's get my free thing or go to my website or friend me on Facebook or join my Facebook group, whatever it is, move people into your funnel. So excellent job role modeling that for us, Shelly. Thank you. Yeah. And I thought I found this an interesting choice. So I just moved here closer. You were very close to your camera. And I think that when you first started and you did that, I thought, that's so interesting. And, and you got sort of playful with us and you got kind of flirty. And I thought, look at that. Now, I wanted you to break it up a little bit. Okay. So after you got the point across non-verbally with your verbals, you know, come back. Give us something different because when something's stays the same it sounds kind of monotone and it looks kind of monotone so if you play with this and use this as a special thing even if you're going to use it more than maybe the rest of us are using it this makes that come through more yeah 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 so and a, a suggestion in terms of sharing about maybe uh, the couple's work you could give a little short dyad that a couple will go through. Honey, have you taken out the trash yet? Oh my. And then, you know, she, there she goes again. She's nagging me about the trash, you know, something like that. Mm -hmm. and, then she, and then what if instead of that, what you did was, Hey, honey, I, I don't even know how to do it. Like you'd have to. <laughs> that, was <good. laughs> that was actually good. <laughs> but, you know, say something else. I wouldn't even know what else to say right now. There's no honey in my life right now. So anyhow, but you get the idea. If you role model just a little shift and, and invited people to go, you know, come play with me and we'll get some more, you'll get to be able to do that more easily. Something like that okay. would be interesting. Great idea. Yeah. Yeah. But man, keep it up. Keep inviting people to play and flirt. And uh, mm -hmm. I love it. So, my friends, what we have a few more minutes to hang out. So far, I haven't seen any comments in our live. I'm not sure if that's my computer. Or, or, Mia, are you seeing any comments over in our live? You're not nodding about that. Okay, don't worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. Um, so, if you are watching, feel free to respond to anything that anybody has said. Let us know how you feel about this. I'm in love with doing the Speak Up live show. So, let me know, though, how you feel, you know, what you're thinking. Because if nobody likes it, I don't need to do it. But in the meantime, the four of us are here. Do you all have anything you want to say to each other or to me? It was very helpful feedback. Yeah. When and said, everything that you said to somebody. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, when you said lean in, that, and that was interesting, and, and lean back, I was like, oh, yeah, that's, you know, we can just add the flirting part to that, make it work. Mm -hmm. So it was, mm -hmm. I could really easily compute that information. <laughs>
<laughs> Perfect. And for Peggy, I'm I'm in the same situation as you do. It's like the glasses is glass. So somebody told me to take your glasses and just tilt them ever so slightly forward so that you can still see out of your bifocals, but hopefully there's less glare when I remember to look up at the camera, Catherine. <laughs> so somebody let me know whether there's still a glare or not. But I don't see it helpful. Yeah, somebody told me that if you tilt your glasses forward just a little bit, you can still see, but there's no glare. Great, great. I think great tip. Thank you. I will pass that on. Peggy Lee, you were trying to say yeah. something. What would you like to say? <laughs> That's okay. Um, what I noticed is that all the feedback that you gave for the others worked for me as well. So, you know, it was. Um, because I think that's what happens is that, you know, what another hears, you can relate to that somehow and what you do and for your practice. And so I like the lean in that that is pretty cool because uh, I sit, I don't stand, but I'm really kind of considering about standing as I speak or, you know, whenever I do training. And because I know a lot of people do that these days, and it's it's a different um, it's a different message too that you convey from the sitting point to when you're standing. And I think people in Toastmasters might realize this more because we were used. I'm a Toastmaster. Um, we would be standing on the stage, and the the just the difference between talking from our feet versus talking in the chair, there is a difference. And I think we're more powerful when we stand talking on our feet. So that leaning in piece was a really good way to, you know, change that up. So good, good, good. I like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, thanks. Thanks for pointing all that stuff out. And, and I want to invite, Mia and Peggy Lee, Shelly's already signed up. I've got a workshop and anybody who's watching, I've got a workshop coming up on May 6th, next Friday, and it's called Speak to Attract Clients. So if you're interested, I will be putting the link in the comments. So check it out. And the whole idea is that we take our authentically vibrant self and create presentations, workshops, events, and speak in a way that moves people into our, our funnels, our work, our a, a next step for them so that we can really provide the services that we're here to do. So if that speaks to you, join me. Yes, Mia. Um, I just wanted to, because you were talking about workshops, that reminded me, I wanted to commend Peggy Lee. I loved your phrase about the right shop um, because it speaks so beautifully to what you do and what we do in workshops anyway, which is right a lot. So I wanted to just say good job on that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good noticing, good noticing Mia. And let me just say, sign up for anything that Catherine does. It's always incredible well thought out i mean you know i try to do everything she does <laughs> thank you shelly thank you shelly i feel i feel the love i'm feeling the love okay <laughs> that's great all right so i know there was something else that i was going to say and it feels like it left my brain here oh i know what it was so ladies and anyone who's watching i thought at first when i put this together that I wanted lots of people to watch this so that y'all would all get seen and heard by more people because that's why we're here, right? We want to get the message. Well, I don't know if that's why you're here, but I want y'all to get your message out to more people. But what I've discovered since I started doing this on March, the first Wednesday in March, is that the four, me and the three other people who come, we all get to know each other a little better. So stay connected. <laughs> And, and who knows what can happen out of this little relationship, these relationships. And of course, if, any, if anybody's watching the replay, you know, sh give us some love. Tell us that you were watching and comment and, and let us know what you thought. So anything anybody else wants to say before we wrap this up? This has been great. Thank you for the opportunity to share. Yeah. Pleasure. Thank you. Always awesome.